Okay, and welcome back to the Lady Boss Show. I'm Janice, as you know, and I'm here with Mary, and we are in the kitchen. Right now, we're about to make banana bread. Mary's actually gonna show us how she makes her very popular banana bread. So she's gonna put me to work, so I'm yes. gonna let you take it away, and I'm gonna be your helper. Okay. Now be kind to me. <laughs> Okay. Everyone who knows me knows that I, I, I like the restaurant type of cooking, <laughs> so be nice to me. Here we go. Okay, so what I do is try and prepare all the ingredients in advance, so you have everything at hand. And I think in that way, you know, things will go smoothly and more sense. efficient. So. That makes sense. So I'm using mayo in my, um, mm -hmm. my banana bread instead of using the traditional, okay, traditional so. butter and too much of um, eggs. This way, I'm only using one egg and ah. the mayo. So this is like um. So the mayo helps to cut down on the egg. Yes, because there's egg in. This so well. people will think mayo. How good can it taste with mayo? Like, oh. does it take away from the flavor of the banana bread? It adds flavor. It adds flavor. Yes. So and how did you come up with this? Did you stumble in on this by accident? <laughs> well, you know what? Long ago, I found a recipe online once. And they replaced, or oh, even sometimes you put mayo in cake. They do? Yes. So yeah. have you ever tried putting mayo, I, I will extra mayo in cake. It tastes really good. Okay. Yeah, so these are a few little tips. Yeah. So yeah. I, you know what, now you forced me to bake a <laughs> Gosh darn that diet. <laughs> I'm going to try it, though. I'm going to try it. So we're going to do one egg, so okay. can we sort of get... Um, I'm going to crack an egg? Yes. Are you like you told me you have eight 
eight brothers and sisters. Right? Well, eight or eight, 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 eight. So, so were you the one that got the cooking bug, or did everybody in your family? You know what my mom did when we were growing up? We had five boys. My mother decided that all the boys in particular will learn to cook. Oh, I like that. And she said, so Are that they all now? Uh, but one. Okay. And she said, that way, no woman will make style on them. <laughs> so smart. But she made sure all the boys can cook. And, and all I of us... That's why Daddy knows how to cook. Because he cooks them too. <laughs> and all of us can cook. And um, and I think it's because long ago, um, the parents were made sure yeah. that the children can cook. Both my children as well. That's cook. true, you know. Yeah, I think about it. My father used to cook all the time. Yeah. It was not like, it was just something that... Yeah, yeah, you know, we grew up with. Yeah. This is our baking soda. So, do is this good enough, or you want me to uh, crush it some more? Some more. Okay, sure. Baking this soda. This is easy. I do this. <laughs> and some cinnamon. You crush it until it's almost like pure, pure. Yes. Right? Yeah. So, what does that mean? You just put in there cinnamon, uh -huh. um, salt, baking soda. Now, this is optional. You can put um, walnuts and cups if you like. I like. And, and if somebody has an allergic thing, that's when we Yeah, so you put, you put, yeah. Oh, and then raisins, oh, I love raisins. raisins yeah. And well, not then, enough raisins. I know, I love that too. So, now, this as you see, the texture is quite stiff, and that is because we need some um, moisture. In Isn't there. that something all those ingredients are now? All in there, yes. And you need the extra moisture, which we will be getting from the bananas. Have I done it? Have yes, I've done it proud. <laughs> excellent job. And look, no spill. Yes. yes. <laughs> so there we go. And you do like a fold when you put it, it doesn't matter how you spill. Well, uh, you can mix for now. Just mix it in. Yeah. Like even this, I've never seen it. Back up. Yeah. So you can use a, a, a spoon as well if you find that it's a bit too. Is it too difficult? Let's oh, so see. You have it down to a science. This is me. Trying to get reacquainted with the, the kitchen again. <laughs> so so while Janice is doing that, I will butter the. See that? Okay. So we have we get our baking pan. So it'll make one loaf. It smells good. It really <laughs> but all the cinnamon and everything. And I like to add a little drop of um, vanilla as well to it too. I imagine your kids love to. That looks like white rum. You sure that's not white rum? <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Vanilla essence. Mm -hmm. That's what we'll call it for the uh, for the TV people, right? Yes. <laughs> I'm smelling it. <laughs> wow, it's good though. It's really... Uh... So do your kids get to... Uh, I guess they get to fight over who licks the bowl when you put everything yeah, in. Yeah, you know how kids are. I remember so my mom used to, oh yes. my gosh. when my mom used to uh, bake, mm -hmm. we I would always want to pour it in, and yes. I would purposely leave a lot <laughs> to me. And then you, yes. you know, because this when you scrape this, you basically have nothing left, right? Yes, yes. And that's the good thing about using a spatula, right? See so. all of that, so I can tell my mom, 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 mom. <laughs> so, so now, see how that is. Now the thing is, you see, when you get all your ingredients together and you put it out uh, in there like that. Look at it, putting it together was what, less yeah, than five minutes? It's so true. You know, it really doesn't take a long time. But that's how you, you get out of the kitchen when you have everything nicely organized. Yes. And, and I know you were talking about the other tip would be about the frozen. We talked about that. Yeah, that, that so thing. frozen stuff. I mean, like, of course, fresh is always better. You know, so fresh fruit, fresh everything. But I just find in certain things, it's so much quicker and easier when we can just, um, you know, open the spinach and you know and, and throw it in like if you're making like spinach and rice mm -hmm. you know use the, the frozen spinach yeah. it's so much easier yeah but i also find especially in the busy world a lot of times when you buy the fresh uh, and you're right fresh is always better but sometimes if you don't use it quick enough it spoils yeah so when you have it frozen it lasts a lot longer saves yes. you more time to get those same vegetables exactly. that spoil and you had good intentions right <laughs> so yeah <laughs> And this is it. And now we just put it into wow. our baking pan. So can I also take this and bake it and have another one for another time? <laughs> that was so good. That was quick. Is it? Are you normally this quick? No, that's about the time it wow. takes. It really, well, as I said, it just means getting all the. Getting your ingredients together. Look at that. 
That is so nice. Oops. <laughs> and then also too, um, I if just you like want, the way it looks. you can just drizzle some walnuts or, <laughs> or walnuts or extra raisins on top or whatever. And how long would you put this in to be It doing? takes a while. Uh, so this could be like an hour or so a little more depending. But I like it. Uh, wait until it's nice and brown. You stick the center to make sure it's it uh, all finished and it comes out clean. And this, the finished product coming to you, is worth the finish. Wow. With mm. the block. That's and beautiful. We're going to have Janice sample it, hopefully. Oh, if, if, if I have to. <laughs> uh, this, is my, this is the fun part. Of course. Uh, and then look, we'll have and look how that looks, try. eh? Wow, that looks really good. Okay, so I'm just going to... Now you have to try it. I'll you try know, it I, I can't yeah. eat alone. And I'm going to take my favorite part. It's always this part here. The top? Yeah, it's like so whenever I have like anything, I always like eat this first <laughs> and save the best part to last, you know? Okay. It's like when you, I know I'm crazy. I know I'm crazy, but hey, crazy is good. Okay, here it goes. I'll try to be uh Oh my gosh. Mm, mm, mm. Is that a word? That's really good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I said. First of all, it's not nice to talk with food in your mouth. <laughs> As I said, everybody knows how to make banana bread, but the merry banana bread, you got to try this. Aww. You got it's delicious. Thank you You're so welcome. much. You're welcome. You're very welcome. And thank you for my gift. <laughs> you <laughs> come every week. <laughs> for real. This actually saves me some time in the kitchen because now I can use this sure. as the rest of, as actually as my dessert. I just might cook today just because then, you know, it, it will be all about home cooked meals today and this will be the dessert oh, for today. Wonderful. So I got my dessert for today. Thank you so much Jamie, for joining thank you. me. Thank you for having me. No, this was, it was, listen, it was worth the wait. It was <laughs> worth the wait. And I hope you enjoyed today, our Lady Boss show. And please keep it tuned for the, um, the ladybosstv.com for more exciting shows, more great guests like Mary, and more inspirational words. Thank you, and enjoy. <laughs>